We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next OP matchup in the Master PT Cup. Today we got KOG taking on AS Monster. And we got Joy Chin of KOG coming in with the first attack of the day. It's going to be a little Queen Charge Dragon Rider action here. We do have an Ice Golem in the army composition as well. It's interesting. We'll see how Joy Chin's going to use it. Log Launcher currently activated. Queen's going to step inside for the multi-targeting Inferno Tower Chamber here on the southwest side of the base. She takes out the multi, grabs the air defense. She's going to continue making her way a little bit to the left before she ends up stepping up toward that enemy queen. Are we going to log launch her through the core of the base? I think we are. We already wall break over here. Ice Golem with the king to go take out the enemy king and the eagle artillery. Okie dokie. Do we invest a headhunter? I don't see why not. We got four of them. We're not dropping the headhunter just yet. We're going to log launch her through the core, though. Hello, Super Minion CC. Got to be fast with the spells. Okay, perfect. Queen with the poison and the rage. Easily able to take care of those CC troops. Log launcher breaks the wall. Queen's going to fight the enemy queen. Eagle artillery wakes up and targets our queen. But our king takes out the enemy eagle. We get a headhunter to help him take out the enemy royal champion. This is looking really good here. Our royal champion from the southeast side of the base. Got to be able to go grab that multi because I don't think the queen can actually reach it. No, she cannot. We need that RC to go a little bit faster, please. Come on, RC. We got the invisibility spell to help her out. Rage the Queen again. She's in range of the single. It's going to cost us a freeze. Nicely timed freeze spell. Joy Chin's Queen will be able to reach the Town Hall now because of that. RC cleared all the defenses over here, so the Queen has a straight path to that Town Hall chamber. This is looking really good. I love the plan. Dragon Riders on the northwest side of the base with the Warden ability. With several spells still in the bag, they should be able to cruise through these defenses here on the northern side of the base. There goes the Queen ability. Down goes the Town Hall and the Warden Tower. Queen can deal with the Skelly Trap with E. She steps inside the Giga Poison. That Giga Juice of Death hits like a truck. She might go down. We're going to invest the Poison spell. He's trying hard to keep her alive. Rage on the top side. The Warden? How did the Warden die? Uh-oh. He must have hit a Seeking Air Mine. Ooh, this just got a little spicy. Luckily, the healers actually pull two of the Seeking Air Mines. Did you guys see that? That was kind of clutch. Those healers moving across the base just pulled two Seeking Air Mines. That might have just saved the attack. Oh, wow. Dragon Riders are able to take out the last air defense, able to take out the Tesla farm, and we still get it. Nice plan here from Joy Chen of KOG. Beautifully done against Fluxy's base. Plenty of time for a cleanup. Down go all the buildings, and it's a three-star to kick things off in this match. AS Monster are in with their first attack coming in with a little pee wee wee action gonna start off with the grand warden on the northwest side of the base here we go gonna warden walk the multi hello teslas might cost us an early rage warden is taking a lot of damage early so we're gonna go ahead and invest the rage the little owl that could dies early that poor guy wall break on the top side that's where we're gonna enter with the wee wee presumably first we need the warden to take out this multi though he steps up for the cannon Rage spell might expire a little early. Warden steps out of it anyway. He goes for the storage first. Oof. This is awkward pathing. Come on, Warden. We need you to step up for that multi. You're going to invest the last couple healers on the Grand Warden. Does he want to invest another rage? I doubt it. He doesn't have to if he's just patient enough. The multi will drop, and then he should be able to start on the top side of the base. Here we go. Warden, come on. That builder repairing the multi makes it take even longer to get it down. That's an OP builder hook. Finally, the multi drops, and here we go. Ice Golem, Peckers, everybody making their way inside. Super Wizards, Coco Loons, Queen, King. We got a Siege Barracks on the outside of the base, so he's going all out. No Battle Blunt backup plan for the Town Hall. It's a little risky. Let's see if it pays off. Pops the Warden ability super duper early. Jump spell to get him all the way through the middle of the base. Okie dokie. We're going to get stuck here on the CC troops. Thankfully, it's not a Lava Hound. That would have stalled him up for quite a while. These troops are easily able to kill those CC troops. We got a heal spell to keep everybody alive as we make our way to the core. And the Royal Champion is in on the right side of the base. We need the P.E.K.K.A.s to go toward the Town Hall. There's the Rage. There's the Freeze. We're all out of spells. Hogs from the Siege Barracks to go work in tandem with the Royal Champion. We pop her ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Down goes the Multi. This is actually looking really good, though. For AS Monster. Healers switch over to the P.E.K.K.A.s. The Town Hall did go down. There's the Tornado Trap. Everybody doing the Disco Dance to celebrate the two-star. But can we get the third star? One minute and four seconds to go. Hogs and the Royal Champion cruising through the south side of the base. We already got Cleanup Wizards. King, Queen and the Unicorn doing a great job there. Still got her ability. Don't even need it. Can swag it. Still got the King ability. Don't even need that. We can swag it. 
Wall break on the outside of the base for the back end. Calculated. So that way the queen and king can get in toward the last group of defenses. I said he could swag their abilities, but he's actually going to need them here. King ability and queen ability to make sure the last few defenses go down. With 33 seconds to go, looks like a triple for AS monster. Beautifully done. Look at that builder glitch. He's just bugging out in the wall. It looks kind of funny. He just pops in and out. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's like he's playing whack-a-mole. We're going to be able to get 99 and 100 with 15 seconds to spare. The queen ability popped just to help out with time a little bit. It's a three star and we're all tied up one triple apiece. Tad is in with the next attack for KOG. Using a few loons on the south side to funnel. Wizard in behind. Finds a Tesla farm early over here at 430. It's going to be a Skybird attack here with a clone with two skelly spells as well. Looks like we're trying to wall break to get king and queen in toward the eagle artillery with an ice golem. Gonna have to use a couple balloons to funnel those Teslas just to make sure the pathing is safe here. King and Queen and Skeleton Spell to help go take out this southern compartment. Here we go with the dragons from the east side of the base. The Warden on air with a little owl that could to help support as well. Here we go. Still got the battle blimp to go all the way to the town hall. Still got the clone spell to use. Royal Champion for later. First rage is in. Okie dokie. Troops are going to be able to easily get through the scatter and hopefully kill that enemy queen inside the rage. Yes, they're going to be able to just double puff and down she goes. Pop that warden ability. Battle blimp should get there. Hopefully. No tornado, I hope. Ooh. Safe. It gets there. Clone spell to help the balloons. Hopefully take out the single target inferno tower. Please. Ooh, only two balloons go up there. The single stays up. Triple ice golem CC gets pulled. There's the tornado. Man, that blimp barely dodged the tornado. Dragons are doing the disco dance. Can they get the multi, please? Yes. Queen's going to deal with the ice golems. Okay, and we got the road champion in on the top side of the base. We still got two freezes to help her out. I think he still has a chance here. Going to have to freeze the single. There he goes. Might have to pop this RC ability sooner rather than later so the air defense goes down and the dragons stay alive. Pop it, pop it, pop it. He's being patient. Ooh, I think he should have just popped it. Save the freeze for the back end scatter. Could come back to haunt him. Instead... We're going to let the Warden die. If we pop the RC ability earlier, the Warden stays alive. And we could have saved the freeze for the back end. That might have been the better option. If there's a Skelly trap here, he could be screwed. Come on, no Skelly, hopefully. You got this. Woo, no Skelly trap. The RC gets through the scatter shot. Queen has the ability. He's got it. Tad's a pro. He knows what he's doing. Swag the poison spell. Do we got the time for cleanup? I believe we do. Archer gets sprung into the next dimension. RC. Ooh, more archers getting sprung. It looks funny when they get sprung off the map. I think he's got the time. RC is so fast on cleanup. How about that? If there was a, a few skelly traps there, it could have been a little sketchy. But luckily, there were none to worry about. And RC easily able to finish off the base beautifully done from tad of kog and they are going to now be two for two putting a little bit of pressure onto as monster who have to triple again just to keep up the moon is in with the next attack for a s monster coming in with a little e dragon action here oh baby lots of e dargons from the top left side of the base queen to walk from 12 to 3 early as heck warden ability Baby dragon at nine o'clock. Double rage. Pretty classic E dragon stuff here. He's got a log launcher currently activated. I'm assuming he'll switch it to a blimp, but I've been wrong before. King and queen to walk from 12 to three. A couple of headhunters coming out of the CC. We got the poison spell to help them with that. Okie dokie. Are we going to rage and freeze again going into the court? Possibly. Potentially. Maybe. We'll see. There's still a lava dog in that CC, so we need the E dragons to take it out. Lots of E-Dragons moving to the outside of the base, though nobody going to the core multi. This could be troublesome. We're going to Rage Freeze. He tries to freeze the Queen, but misses. So we're going to have to use the second freeze. Ooh, I don't know about this. E-Dragon's going to die. He's not freezing to keep it alive. Scattershot stays up. We're going to blunt the Town Hall from the left side of the base. Uh-oh. RC for the scatter, but the CC. There's a Lava Dog in there. And all oh, the bait is real. <gasps> Uh-oh. Tornado. Uh-oh. Freeze the Town Hall again. RC stuck on the Lava Dog. Can we get that Town Hall? The Rage spell was off. Dragon Rider's not in the Rage, but the Balloons, they do enough damage. Whew. Down goes the Town Hall. That was looking scary. We don't have the Poison spell to help Queen and RC. Bro, he still might triple, though. He still might triple. RC could pop her ability. Queen still has her ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. There goes the RC ability. That Expo on one HP. 
We got a free spell in the bag as well. E dragons can outlive the Giga Poison. Oh my gosh, he still gets it. Actually, maybe. The RC dies. Ooh, it's looking a little sketchy. Queen already popped her ability to get through the wall a little bit faster. Got to freeze early. Yeah, freeze. Keep the E dragons alive. Do some chain damage off the gold storage. Hopefully, no seeking air mines. Ooh, I think he's got it. Oh, that was close, but it's a three star. Oh day long for the moon of as monster and we are all tied up again two triples a piece chien is in with the next attack for kog bringing us some zappy zappy lalo quake and zaps to take out the multi in the core of the base okay he's got two ice hounds instead of the normal hounds on this one gonna be interesting to see if he's able to get some good value out of those freezes Raged Yeti Bomb here to kick things off on the top side of the base. They're able to take out the enemy Royal Champion. That's beautiful. They're able to pull the CC troops. The Raged Yeti might take out the Expo, the Tesla, and the Builder Hut. Oof. That Raged Up Yeti Bomb got quite a bit of value. I like it. Archer on the top side of the base with the Queen. She needs to snipe that Headhunter. Or we're just going to have to use the poison right away. She sniped the Headhunter anyway. Okay. Wizard to funnel the trash buildings on the top left side of the base. Nice. Queen can take out the Lava Dog and the Pups. Then we sh should be good to go. Looks like we're trying to sui the Town Hall right away. Should be able to send King and Queen to be able to do that. Okie dokie. There was the first Wall Breaker on the Solo Cannon compartment. Just got to be a little patient now with the second Wall Breaker. We can afford to wait. Queen takes out the Wizard Tower. Unicorn's trying its best to keep her alive through the Cannon damage. There goes the first Ice Golem. The only Ice Golem. The King and the Wall Breaker wizard to help funnel them in we want them to take out the expo before they start working on the town hall based on this pathing pathing. Okay, dokie wizard did a great job of funneling king grabs the bomb tower yep thank you he's gonna go to the right for the storage queen goes left for the expo we still got the royal champion to use where are we gonna use her we use her from three o'clock okay she hopefully can take out this multi on the bottom side of the base that would be really good value and we're gonna start the lalo from the bottom side okay i guess doing that we should be able to hopefully dodge the air sweeper rc should also stay alive five ever because of that we're gonna haste the loons into the multi freeze up the scatter shot oh but the ice hound froze it anyway so that ends up being a waste of a freeze unfortunately they were dropped at the same time still got this warden ability Balloons are doing the disco dance over there with the Royal Champion in the Tornado Trap. There goes the Warden ability. Negate the damage of the Scatter Shot. We got Headhunters to help take out this enemy Archer Queen. Beautiful. Down she goes. Still got the RC ability. One more freeze and haste in the bag. We could freeze the Eagle. Yes, that's exactly what we do. Haste on the left side as well. We lost most of our loons. Pop that RC ability. Oh, she barely gets through the single. She might die to the Skelly Trap. Hopefully not. Hasted loons take out the air defense. It's just one archer tower that left standing. RC is alive on one HP. She gets it. Yes. Down goes the mortar. 28 seconds for cleanup and the RC stays alive. Wow. Clutch royal champion right there. This one's just barely going to squeak by. We got the time for cleanup. The king is still alive doing cleanup in the core with a bunch of minions and a headhunter. RC on one HP. Grand Warden at almost full health. 10 seconds to spare. And it's another three star for KOG. Fluxy is in with the next attack for AS Monster. All the pressure on him right now. He has to three star just to keep his team tied up with KOG. And he's going in with little Queen Charge Lalo action with a jump spell. We're going to send that king in toward the eagle artillery on the left side of the base. Okie dokie. With two other wall breakers, queen has access to the multi. And it looks like we just want her to snipe the multi and then keep walking down. And one more wall breaker to get her in toward the scattershot compartment. Yes. Wall breaker is successful. Okay. I like this plan so far. Looks like there's going to be a few Teslas over here though. What's he going to do to counter that? Queen probably could reach all of them. He might not have to do anything. Headhunter to help. Ooh, that headhunter got sniped by the Grand Warden, bro. Yikes. But the poison spell, he can use it to help with the enemy king and the ice golems. Nice use of the poison spell right there from Fluxy. King cleared a lot of stuff on the left side of the base, and he got that CC pool nice and early for the queen. Just actually looking good. So got two rages and a jump spell. We're going to invest the royal champion. Okay. To help get all these Teslas and Builder Huts on the south side of the base. That way Queen can step up for the scatter shot and just stay close to this other wall. And we got the jump spell to get her all the way to that town hall chamber. The pathing might be a little wonky though with all that open channel. Not convinced on which way Queen's going to step. We don't know yet. Ooh, nicely timed freeze spell. 
The enemy queen would have forced our ability otherwise. With the royal champion grabbing all these defenses, the queen should step inside here with the jump spell. This is looking perfect actually now for Fluxy. I really like this plan. We're going to send the stone slammer. If queen grabs the warden tower, the stone slammer will go to the sweeper. And then queen gets the single and the stone slammer will go left for the scatter. This is looking beautiful. I like this plan from Fluxy. That's a nice queen charge right there. Queen gets the town hall. Lalo from the top left side of the base. Headhunters to help kill the enemy royal champion. Early as heck warden ability. Okie dokie. That cleanup wizard on the outside of the base grabbing so many trash buildings. Queen stepping inside the Giga Juice of Death. But she's still looking healthy. We already used all of our spells, but this base is crushed. Holy crap. A few more loons on the outside to grab the Archer Tower, because why not? We still got an unpopped Lava Hound. Wow. That was an impressive Queen Charge Lalo from Fluxy of AS Monster. Pops a Queen ability just to help out with time a little bit. Finds a tornado trap and a lot of giant bombs. Down go most of those archers. Wowzers. 30 seconds to go. 98%. 99 and 100. Lava Dog doesn't even pop. What an impressive attack. And just like that, we're all tied up yet again. Kian is in with the next attack for KOG. Looks like he used two lightnings for that upper sweeper. Early Dragon Rider from the left side of the base. A couple of Rocket Loons to snipe some defenses as well. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Does that Dragon Rider get the cannon just before he dies? Yes! With the last shot down goes the cannon. Looks like we got a partial CC pool. Only one Headhunter, but not both because of that Rocket Loon. That could make things a little interesting here. We're going to Wall Break into the Eagle. We use a Dragon to Funnel at 3 o'clock. Sure. Here comes the dragons and dragon riders from the south side of the base. We want king and queen to walk inside for the eagle artillery, okay? Early rage on the south side. We got the blimp to go all the way for the town hall. Sure. King and queen do indeed go inside for the eagle. It's not going to be a lava dog. It's just more headhunters and super minions in SCC. Hello, tornado trap. It catches our blimp. Uh-oh. We got the warden ability, though. Three seeking air mines on the blimp. Four. Luckily, that warden ability saved it. Wow. There's the clone. There's the rage. Down goes the town hall. Down goes the inferno tower. King and queen are doing a great job on the east side of the base. Poison spell kills the enemy super minions. Free spell the core multi and expo. That's going to help out everybody. Balloons can hopefully take out that AD. No, the AD stays up. Royal champion is shooting all of our dragons now. It could be troublesome. We're going to lose most of the dragons right here. It's going to be all up to the queen and the royal champion. And there's a Tesla farm on the back end of the base. Can our grand warden snipe the RC before he dies? He's trying his best. Ooh! almost kills her she's on one hp dude somebody just needs to tickle her toes and down she'll go we got the queen with ability oh is she gonna fight that royal champion yes she will can pop her ability to get through a wall that queen might be able to take out the scatter we got the rc ability but no spells which means if there's skelly traps there the rc could get stalled up and this might be a fail pop the rc ability boom bada bing bada bam down goes most of the tesla farm there's the skelly trap i was talking about and it's a double but he sneaks in a rocket loon Bro, that's a calculated rocket loon for the back end scatter shot. As the RC's working on skellies, the rocket loon can take out the scatter. Beautifully done from Kian of KOG. That rocket loon might have just saved the attack. That was 200 IQ right there. Beautiful attack, and they are now four for four. Sue is in with the next attack. Four AS monster coming in with a little queen charge. Dragon Rider action here. All the pressure on him. He's got a three star just to keep their team in it. Nobody has failed yet in this match. I'm gonna knock on wood. It's not my fault if he fails. I did not jinx him. Baby dragging the foot on the right side. We're gonna wall break queen directly in toward that multi targeting inferno tower. Tell me she goes in. Yes, perfect. <clears throat> Rage her up. Down goes the multi. Where are we going to? Okay, there's the second wall break. She's going to go straight in toward that compartment with the log launcher. Ooh, to get her all the way through the base. Here we go. King on the three o'clock side to help funnel her. Queen's got to fight the enemy queen. Do we have to invest a freeze? Yes, we do. Just to make sure we keep our queen ability intact. Sweet. Queen takes out the builder hut. Wizard tower. Hopefully this air defense will not be able to reach healers. I think we should be safe. Log launcher is going to get us all the way to the town hall. Queen should hopefully be able to get the multi before it starts killing his healers. That's a nice minion to grab the air skellies. We got balloons and ice golems in the CC and an extra healer, but that healer might die to the multi. Poison spell helps queen kill all the CC troops. Nice. That's looking good. Another air skelly queen's got to deal with. And here we go with the dragon riders from the top side of the base. <clears throat> Not going to waste too much time. King cleared everything from 3 to 6 o'clock. We still got the royal champion to use. 
Nope, she's in on the top side of the base with the Dragon Riders. We might pop an early ward ability. Indeed, we do. Queen finds the Tornado Trap, though. She's doing a little disco dance action. We need her to get the multi before the healers die. She switches to the Clan Castle building. Uh-oh. Might need to freeze that multi to keep the healers up. Sir, where are your spotters? Ooh, those healers are on one HP. This is looking a little scary. Queen, those healers need to stay alive for her to get the Town Hall. Dragon Riders on the top side. We're going to raise that Queen up again one more time. Healers are so close to death. Oh, they're seeking air mines, but no red bombs. The rest of the healers are going to stay alive at least a little bit longer. Dragon Riders on the left side of the base with the Headhunters are just cruising through those defenses. We still got the RC ability. We pop the Queen ability. Down goes the Town Hall. Whew, that was scary. There's the red bombs. Down go most of the healers. Only one left. With the free spell in the bag, I think he's got it. Three Dragon Riders still alive. 50 seconds for cleanup. Lots of minions on the left side of the base. And it's going to be four triples apiece. We're going to be tied up 12 to 12. Holy crap. And we're going to have to start asking the question, what is the tiebreaker if this, if this ends up being a perfect, perfect? Well, in the Master PT Cup, the tiebreaker is indeed average attack duration. And let's see who's winning so far on average attack duration before we go into the last round of attacks. Currently, ooh, AS Monster are up by 10 seconds. And after four attacks, an average of 10 seconds is 40 seconds overall. So KOG need to do some sort of really fast attack here. If they want to win, they're going to have to do like a super fast E-Dragon attack or something. Let's see who's going to win. Yuzi Pa, Yuzi P is in with the next attack for KOG. Coming in with a little uh... Queen Charge Lalo. Rip. Rip. And the queen, ooh, that ability. Uh-oh, we're gonna use a wizard to funnel. Don't tell me she goes the wrong way. This is not good. This is not good. Queen already going the wrong way. We're gonna have to change the plan on the fly. Not only does this need to be a triple, but it needs to be a fast triple for them to have a chance, really, to win this match. Otherwise, they're just gonna have to hope for an actual defense. Queen stepping up. We don't have her ability. Need to drop a rage soon. Oh, it's a lot of damage. We're gonna freeze as well. Is there any way she takes out the scatter before she locks on to the CC? Oh, she targets the scatter. Yes, she gets the scatter before she's going to get stalled up on the ice golems. That's actually perfect timing. King in on the south side of the base with a wall break, with a headhunter. And we're going to... Ooh. 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 We're going to log launch her queen all the way to the town hall. Okay, I like it. Remember, this is not the original queen pathing that he was expecting. Right? It looked like he wanted queen to walk down. This is really interesting. Queen won't be able to reach the multi in the core, so this could get a little awkward. We're going to rage her up. She's in range of the single target Inferno Tower. We're going to have to freeze. And we do. We still got another freeze and an invis to keep her alive to get the town hall. And we're going to start the Lalo from the left side of the base. We already used the RC with the king on the bottom side. This Lalo pathing is going to be a little wonky. We still got to go straight into an air sweeper. This is very wonky, actually. Baby Dragon and Loon are not able to take out that core multi. We pop this warn ability. Lots more balloons on the south side of the base. We still got a rage. A freeze and a haste. We're gonna haste on the left side. Queen's taking the scatter, luckily. Loons are gonna make their way to the core. Did we not bring headhunters for this royal champion? Ooh. Ooh, that's bad news bears. We freeze the core multi, but this royal champion is just popping all of our loons like it's her birthday party, dude. She's going pop, pop, pop. Down go the balloons. We're gonna rage them to get through the core. We did get through the bottom side. Does this still have a chance to triple? Yo, I think it does. No way. Use P. We got minions on the top. Queen dealing with the air scalies. All the defenses are dead. But we got to get through that royal champion. We got to get through the gold storages. This might be close. We got a wall breaker. Where does it go? Does it target the junction? Yo, that's actually a really nice wall breaker for the queen. She's going to be able to reach the other storage for 99. She still has to beat through a wall. She's going to fight the royal champion first. Yes, she's going to win that battle. Do we have the time to get through the wall for the gold storage? I think the loons could take it out anyway. Sneaky Goblin to help get through the wall. He's got it. Time, though, was not on his side. It was a very slow three-star. But it is a three-star for KOG. It's a perfect war for KOG. 15 stars. And all the pressure now on AS Monster. Based on time, any triple wins it for AS Monster. But they have to triple. It's triple or nothing to win the war all the pressure on GYY, the final attacker. GYY is in with the final attack of the match. All the pressure on him right now. Triple for the win. 
anything less than a triple and his team loses and we're going in with the tribrid spam here we got dragons we got dragon riders we got inferno dragons as well look at this that's a neat bat spell to tank the air defense for the dragon rider and the loons to make a nice little funnel here down goes the air defense no not quite uh oh uh oh dragon rider's gonna go down rip Queen with the wall break. She should go in for the expo. Here comes most of the air troops in from the left side of the base. That air defense never went down. That's a little awkward. One more dragon rider to finish it off. Got the battle blimp for the town hall. And remember, it's triple or nothing. He's got bats on this one too. Okay. King and queen both going inside that compartment. King might dip out and go outside though after the expo's dead because he didn't funnel. Yep. King goes back outside. Here comes the battle blimp for the town hall. We're going to invest the warden ability soon. CC troops coming out. Lots of headhunters and a witch as well. There goes the warden ability. Keep everybody safe. Hopefully the battle bloom gets there. There's one seeking air mine. Mm, no tornado. Okay, down goes the town hall. Dragons get through the core multi. Queen can hopefully take out the other multi, or at least the dragons can path there. Royal champion on the right side of the base should be able to take out the wizard tower and the scatter shot. I like this plan. Here come the bats, nice and early from the 12 o'clock side of the base. We still have one freeze. I mean, two freezes. There goes the first one for the single. Okay. RC gets the scatter. We're going to freeze the wizard tower. Bats on the single. Down it goes. Bats on the wizard tower. Down it goes. Queen pops her ability. Down goes the multi. Nothing can kill the bats. It's a three star for AS Monster. Ladies and gentle fishes, the perfect, perfect, the double perfect. What a match to watch today with over a minute to spare cheese how about that that was a great war and as we check out the war stats it's a perfect draw 15 to 15 but the time tiebreaker average attack duration in favor of a s monster two minutes and 17 seconds compared to two minutes and 39